Hello everyone, it's me and guess what we are doing? You know it, I know it, we knew this would happen and well it is happening. They are the drills and oops and this is the canvas. We're going to do it, we are going to do it. <laughs> You knew I couldn't hold out. How many guests right? This is that lovely, lovely folklore hair from, um, from what's it called? Diamond Art Studio. And there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know whether to start. Have I got to lay some? Uh, no, I won't have to lay any down. Any, um, Wash tape. I don't know whether to leave this bit to last and just do the inside bit or ah stuff it I'm gonna do it now. All right. Well all the writing is obviously 210 and the tick is B five two hundred. I love it, I love it, I love it. <sighs> right. Try and set this up a little bit better so you can see this beautiful picture. Right, I suppose I will start in the corner like I always do. It's a bit boring though, isn't it? No, I think, oh no, because that bit's then going to get all bitty and messy and fluffy. Unless I cut. Ah, that's what I will do. I will cut out a patch. That is what I, oh God, what do I do with the sharp one? This is the slightly blunt one, oh well. And I really need my see-through mirror, which I took to craft group yesterday. So that's just here. Whoa! Oh, God. Trip over the carpet, the rug that's mooshed up. Oh, look. I did that one at craft group yesterday. Is that sweet or is that sweet? I think I'll probably do a bit bigger flower. Because it kind of looks like it could be a nipple, nipple, um cover <laughs> yes i didn't come up with that somebody else did my innocent brain wouldn't oh and i made this it's my stamp it's to get the perfect ring for printing on my fabric so when my fabric is up and on its on its thing, then I would print it when it's taut to hopefully make it a bit more round. Right, huh? Right. And I took the bluntest bloody scissors with me yesterday. Flipping blunt ones, weren't they? Absolutely dire. Right. So, oh God. Right. Right. Let us see. Let us go. Right. No, it wasn't too bad, except all I can see are flipping um these lines. Right. Hear it. Yeah. Well, that's that. And I've got to be 
careful because I don't want to go right the way through, do I? Oh, let's leave that on for now. No, I haven't gone through, thank God. Oh, great. Look at that. <laughs> if it's coming on bits like that. Yes, it is. Well, I think at this rate, I'm just going to be doing the, um, am I too stubborn? I think I'm just too stubborn. Right. Let's just get, I've got people down there somewhere. Oh God. Oh, don't. Oh, I've got my new, um, my replacement um Ujima flip back yesterday which was good um all right can't find the big one so i'm just going to use a label mm. oh this is so frustrating all right i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna start from the bloody corner like i should have done in the first place um oh didn't did i i found my sharp one didn't i right let's see if it works mm. See the line coming up through here and yet yeah, why does it cut the canvas and not the bloody plastic oh for god's sake this is so freaking frustrating some i should just take it all off shouldn't i really and just put the others on but I didn't really want to do that because I want to see the picture. Right, well, here we go. Right, so now we want that. Oh, that's a bit of a grubby one. Oh, that one's grubby as well. That's slightly better. Right. B5, oh no, I was going to do the twos first, wasn't I? All right, here we go. I can't tell where's the end of that. Because I was going to do some of this, wasn't I? Right, I think it's that one. Yeah, I don't like these um, refill sort of type ones because they're only half there and it always falls out there. It's ridiculous. Right, so. Right, there we go. At least now I know where I'm. She says gluing, but I'm not gluing. Right, let's try and move that over. And then we'll try and, oh gosh, it won't do it, will it? So we're going to have to have it in the, um, that way, I'm afraid. 
Right, how many minutes in? 10 minutes and I'm only just starting. Good God, I apologise. Oh, this is, oh, they are sticking lovely. Oh, oh yeah, you can tell the canvas is lovely with just the right amount of stick. Hmm. Oh dear, yeah, craft, uh, craft, uh, craft group yesterday was um, fun and games. That troublesome person was there again and um, she wasn't with us in our group, but she was there in the, in the place because some of them were preparing for a cream tea event that they've got going on today. And um, so they were sort of in another part of the place. But um, yeah, all you could do was hear her voice and she was being quite stroppy and um, saying to, to some of our groups, oh, aren't you going to say hello to me? And it was like, well, you know, A, she didn't, see, this person, other person didn't see you. And, um, you know, there, and she was saying hello to everybody that she was with first. And, you know, and so, no, she wasn't going to bloody say it. So um, this other woman got right on her high horse about it. And the friend in the group, she'd been having a bad day, bad week, whatever, bad month. Bad year, to be honest, and she snapped, and she just told her she hadn't got time day for it, you know, tell her to shut up, and words to that effect, and of course, then the other person didn't like it, so then she started giving back, but she wasn't succeeding, because her argument was pretty damn poor in the first place. And, um, yeah, and this was um, after she'd already had another go, the, the odd person had had another go at um, another person in the, um, in the place who was trying to help. So it's like, mm. So that was what we had. And then she stayed there for a while and making a mess. She was faffing around with a coffee machine, which was stupid because then she kept trying to say to to the other lady there saying, well, this is how you use it. Use, and it was something like 10 scoops of coffee and one for the pot. And I thought, no, that doesn't apply for bloody, um, for coffee, dear. Because it was like one of these filtered coffee things. And it was like, oh God, I give up. And everybody else was looking at her when she was there saying that. And it was like, mm. and then, um, and then, and then she admitted she hadn't used it before. <laughs> and she was faffing around with all the internal bits while it was plugged in. So, of course, the, the gentleman had said, you know, it's probably best to turn that off. And then she had a go at him saying, I know exactly what I'm doing. And you're not part of the committee. And I thought, well, actually, he was part of the, some part of it, I think. But anyway, it was, yeah, so we had all that. And it just sort of lowered the, dropped the, um, you know, the, the tone of the whole place. And so we're all sort of like, um, oh dear. So it wasn't really a, um, a good. But well, she's obviously got her battles that she's going through, but at the same point, you know, we all have those, but we don't go, you know. And then she, after making the mess, she knew she'd made the mess, um, she let everybody else tidy up, clean it all up. And she just left. And it was like, but this is what she always does. Makes a mess, demands attention, and um, and then, you know, when people start saying, 
no and she just gets all upset and teary and um and runs away or walks away quite fast which is very sad and I just don't know what to do how to deal with her we've stopped letting her get away with it because we're only enabling her so we do start saying things back and of course she doesn't like it so i think it's sort of in the um in that phase where you know you're training a petulant child and you know they aren't going to like it because they're not used to it and just you know do it often enough and they soon get used to it and might might you know I did get on and do a bit of a my needle punching. I couldn't really concentrate much, but I did do some. I did that daisy. I quite like that. But yeah. Oh. Oh, I can't believe it. We're in April soon and it's mash-up time. And I don't know how many people are going to be doing it. Not many, I don't think. But we all have fun. Hopefully. And it'll just be sort of quite a nice sort of little thing. And there'll still be prizes. So, um, you know, the fewer of us, probably the better. I mean, obviously, I won't be getting prizes. I won't be included in that, but... But I think it's going to be quite good. It's going to be interesting, though, to see, you know, how these um, paintings, you know, switch out to, you know, what the change of colour will be like. I sort of have in my head that they're going to turn into like an Andy Warhol type soup can type arrangement. But yeah, but, but it's also, we're just going to be using the biggest bags of drills, you know, that we have spares in our pot and just substituting the original colours for those. And I think Kristen is going to be doing a freestyle version. So, and that, and... Um, now, Kristen, for those that may not know, is Craftyish Kristen. She's on YouTube. She has an amazing, amazing um, channel. And please go along to her if you haven't been there already and say hi. And, um, oh, she is so funny. And uh, Duncan, who, I, who I'm calling Lord Duncan for now, is so funny with his plastic fixation. And, well... She's so near to her, well, she's about 933 or 943. I can't remember exactly, but she's nearly at that magic number of a thousand subscribers. So if you couldn't, if you wouldn't mind going along, if you haven't subscribed to her, please go and subscribe and um, help her get there. Because then a whole load more things lay open to you then. Me, I'm just a plodder type of um, channel. I just sort of, I think I should do this, that and the other, but I probably won't get round to it. Some of it is because I'm lazy, but a lot of it is because I am. Not diagnosed yet, but soon I'm on the list. Um, ADD, ADHD. So I am... Um, I lose concentration. Well, not concent I start things and I get really enthused into doing them and I do them and do them and then I just sort of run out of steam and I want to do something different. 
whereas that's why I'm trying to make this channel yes it's mainly a diamond painting channel but I've got like a crafting Wednesday which is um hopefully it's in, in addition to the um diamond painting but it's hopefully um going to be enough to, for me to um keep my interest levels there <laughs> but it'll probably just swap for another session like at the moment with needle punching <laughs> but i do intend to try and do other things on there and i really want to do this um i've got two suggestions for these sort of craft wednesday challenges and i'm still working on them it's because my brain has been a little bit everything's with this mashup that i'm going to be doing it's like um my brain is all over the place because i'm kind of like a wing it kind of girl so i've basically wung it <laughs> wing it wung it wang it oh don't get me started on a wang wang ebo oh sorry oh god oh god wang ebo so gorgeous so shall say oh dear I'm, i think i'm gonna have to watch the untamed again anyway i'm sidetracking and um, since now where was i on i was on about winging it type of girl yes yeah, so i tend to um say something and then just well let's just dive in and do it sometimes there's no planning or there's minimal planning and um we just see how it goes when I had my shop, my fabric shop, and I ran classes from there, I used to say to the people, I'm not a teacher. I will just show you how I do things. But if you find an easier way to do it, which fits better for you, go for it because it's your project. I'm just showing you what can be done. And then it's down to you to sort of, you know, to go with it. And I will kick ass and try and get them to um, jump out of their comfort zones. Because a lot of people, you know, if you say you're doing this and it's down to them, they will then go away and do this really in-depth, elaborate picture of what they want it to be. It would be in their head, this is how I want it to be. And these are the colours I'm going to do. And, you know, and I try and get away from that. I try and say, right these are the fabrics and I throw the fabrics out and some appeal to, to some and obviously there'd be a fair amount that doesn't appeal to them but I would get them to use that those different fabrics or you know that ever thing you know to think outside the box and perhaps use something you know a colour that they don't they don't like so that's kind of like a mashup type of thing so I just I just like that. So I want to throw people out of their comfort zones and show that they don't have to plan everything down to the ground because well whenever I've planned anything I'm more likely to fail. But not sometimes it's not failing, it's sort of but it's not up to how I have it in my head. And so I'm always slightly disappointed. Whereas if I don't allow myself that, then there's nothing to be disappointed about. And sometimes, well, quite a lot of the time, nine times out of ten, I've, ma I've made something which is absolutely, I think, wow, I never thought to use those colours before. Golly. So, a wing it type of, um, you know, approach... I think is um you know quite fun to do every now and then because we're all learning about each other you know we're all learning about ourselves what we like what we tick but, but by accepting all that we are and the the things that we like to do we're sort of like I don't know I always liken it to like being you know backing yourself into a corner you know and sometimes there are windows in that in that corner you know in that box and sometimes there is a back door it may be bolted but you have the key even if it is on like a giant key ring of hundreds and hundreds of other keys 
and you know out that door is a beautiful garden and the rest of the world so sometimes it's just gosh that's quite neat it's um you know we we need to do other things also make take makes it you know a lot less boring but everybody finds their own way to their happiness so at the end of the day This is kind of like my way to mine. And it may not work for other people, but give it a whirl. Adapt it. You know. Create your own. Do not be afraid to create your own. say I, I've got some quite nice straight lines here but I do wish it wasn't so much <laughs> well I can't believe it's good Friday my word Easter's so early this year it feels like oh, that's not very straight is it but um yeah Oh, my 40 by 40 inch frame has arrived. Yay! Got to put it up together. But so far, it's looking about right, the right size. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. So, that's going to be fun. And then, I can, then I can get on and do it with that one. Because the big one, I've still got upstairs. And it's just it's a little bit too big for me at the minute. I made all very good plans, but I think I should use that to do so I can slightly bigger things on maybe a little mats. do some key rings and some other things like that uh, needle punching got several designs in my head so I've just got to create so after I've done this I shall probably go and create but then again I might not because I might just decide what time did I start this I don't know damn I meant to look it up and and do dar it right go 28 minutes holy cow right 28 away from 44 oh god 28 minutes 28 let's call it half an hour so 15 we call it 15 2 15 so i was going to do wanted to do a um a, a, a thing with jig of like 12 hours diamond painting and see how much I can get done in that granted I won't be filming you know it'd be in several parts but I would put all those parts on one day I think so it's not as you know boring and um and do it for like 12 hours and then show how much I can do in 12 hours So I might just do that with this one. So 2.15. So I've done 30 minutes so far. Right, okay. So up to 2.15 tonight. Mm -hmm. Take a bit of a break. 
you know, rest breaks and tea breaks and food breaks. Yeah. So, I mean, I won't be filming all those, oh, okay, all those and um, whatnots. I shall be, um, you know, constantly. I should have just come in at every so often. Shall I? I don't know how I'm going to work it. I'll wing it. Wing it, wing it, she says. Yeah, let's just wing it. I'll keep going until I, until I can go no more. And we will see how much I can get done and what it'll look like. I won't get far done, will I, if I'm just doing single placing. Right. I don't like multi-placing because all the gag on these, even if you clean it out and put fresh in, after a few bits, a few goes, it starts... Um, It starts, what's it calling? I should have started this earlier. Perhaps that's what I should have done is just put it away and then just counted half an hour. Oh God, I can't roll that up to get that out of the way. I'm and call it half an hour and then just go from there. everybody doing this Easter oh it reminds me I must bring out that bit of beef I've got in the old freezer I've got a bit of beef and I didn't know what I was going to do with it but it was on special the other week so I got it shoved it in the freezer as you do and then I think I shall um, have that on Sunday and obviously the cat will participate. She will partake of a little of a soup song bit of bifferuni. I won't be having the full whatever. I should probably just be having beef sandwiches. I might do a baked potato. Not the same as roast potatoes, I know. But I might do some baked potato uh, some roast potatoes. If I've got the beef in, I suppose I could do. And then I've got some veggies. So I think that'll do. Yeah. And then I can cut up some of the beef, have some beef sandwiches. And, um, and also I can do like a beef stir fry. Yeah. As long as I get it out in time. Mm. Oh, I've seen it upside down. Yeah, it's very hard to see these white in this tray. Really, I sh should find Know what I did with it, my other tray. There it is, my Admiral Zest tray. I think that's what I'm going to use for the whites at least. Because 
thin. I can see them. Ooh, I can go back in there. Right, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's loads better. Problem is with this tray, I don't like the extra angles. You can't get, you know, right the way down, which is frustrating. So you always end up with bits missing. this canvas is the dog's padoodies it really is and these drills oh they are beautiful where did that go he went bouncing off somewhere back and hope he doesn't go bouncing off looking incredibly neat really isn't it so the drills are just the right size for these squares on this canvas oh my god this oh this is to die for this is beautiful absolutely beautiful and i don't mind having lots of whips in progress if it gets to show you them all you know, wow. All right. Oh, my God. What's your favourite painting that you're doing or you've got in your stash that you can't wait to start? And how long has it been? Or have you just dived in like I have? Then and there. the bed trash the first bit oh dear oh dear I've got the flipping bar thing sticking into me I've got these little hook down hinges sort of things which go and take the excess of the painting to hold it up you know Mostly to try and keep it from not getting scrunched. Fair enough. But um, it's digging into my tummy because I have to lean forwards. I should really get my do the experiment again with my um, easel and see how that works. Just take a little bit of getting used to, I will say that. Well, it did last time. But, you know. Oh, look at that, that went 
looking great, isn't it? That slime's beautiful. That. Oh my God, is that lovely? Can you see? Let's try and look at that. Wow. That. We'll get a better setup. I've been planning my kitchen how I want it to be. And I think I'm getting there. I've just got to hopefully hear soon about getting a grant to be able to update it because it is bloody pants. Because I've got on opposite sides of the room, I've got like um, uh, water sort of um, accessibility. Like I've got on one side of the of the little postage stamp square, I've got the plumbing in for the washing machine, and then on the opposite side of the postage stamp square sort of room, I've got the sink. So I can, I'd have to get a little half bowl or, or quarter bowl, which that'd be fine, square one, you know, square, oblong one, rectangle. Um, what's the difference between a rectangle and an oblong? Are they exactly the same or is there a slight difference? Is there some, I don't know. Anyway. And then I can have move where the washing machine is. I can have the washing machine plumbed in and I can have my um, tabletop dishwasher plumbed in because that can sit on top. I just need to get a new work surface for there because that work surface is shite and I don't want it. I want a, I want like a, you know, a wood effect one. And, um, and then I can have a little bowl. So the drainer would go over the side of the washing machine so it doesn't have to cut into any of it and then i can have there's like about that much gap and i can have a little square thingy jig with room underneath for for a bin and i'll get a smaller bin yeah i mean i'll have to change it more but at least then it you know won't smell up the place or whatever and then above it I will have shelves loads of shelves and I might if I get a smaller bin I might be able to get one of those you know those side pulley things that you pull out and it'll have the cleaning stuff on and I might be able to fit my um, area down there as well and yeah, we will see. And then, on the opposite side, I'll move my fridge into the corner where the sink was. Then I'll have a drawer unit next to it. Then, on top of the fridge, I'll have my microwave. Because at the moment it's sat on top of the, um, on the worktop above the um, washing machine. And then... I would have the yeah the draw a draw unit. Then I'd have my cooker, but my cooker will be properly in because at the moment there's like about that much gap either side, which is ridiculous. One of my cookers is a smallish one because I needed a smallish one to fit in the gap at the old place. And then, um, then I'll have a, a double unit. And then, if I would, I would get a larder unit put in. But I won't use the larder unit for the lardering. I would use the larder unit to hide my craft stuff in. which I think will be quite quite okay. And that'll be my kitchen. So I'll have for my pots and my pans, 
I'd have the shelves above the washing, uh, the, the washing machine and the sink and my cups and plates up there as well. Then, oh, I haven't done the top units, have I? The work, the, the um, wall cupboards. So then above, I would have a, a single unit, a uh, wall unit cupboard, which would be sort of next to the fridge. So it'd be holding the sort of side bit, would be holding the, the microwave in place. And that will be there. Then I would have, over the other side, I'd have a double cupboard. And I shall probably have a shelf going along above the cooker. I was thinking of putting my book my books up there, but then thinking about it, above the cooker, it could end up getting a bit steamed up and then whatever. So I don't know. But that's how I'd have that. And then... I'd have that base unit um, for, you know, appliances and all that kind of she shebang. And then I'd have the double cupboard and the single cupboard, wall cupboard, will be for my food and, you know, stuff. And then I'd have the kettle underneath the cupboard next to the wall cupboard, the larder cupboard. Yeah, I think that's how I want it. So we will go from there. But of course I'd need someone to build it and install it all. shouldn't be too bad if I get a grant that'll all be done and then in my sitting room part I need new carpet and then I would so I'd have to transfer everything or majority of things to the shed which is right down the bottom end which is a pain in the butt really and then I can empty out the sitting room and then I can put new car. Ah, I'll paint it first, then put new carpet down. I'll just paint the walls white, fill the holes, paint it all white. Um, and then lay, get a carpet laid. And I also want to get a, a new internal door, which is um, glazed or partially glazed, top part glazed. So then it will um, look let a bit more light through and eventually I'd quite like to get the hallway done take the wallpaper off the all the way going up the stairs paint it white again fresh white change the carpet I want hard wearing carpet in the um from the sitting room to the hall the land at the hallway and up the stairs and the landing on top Right, why won't that one? Uh -huh. That's why. Right, in there, in there. Well, there we go. What do you think to that? Is that nice? I think I might continue on. Yeah, I don't think I'll do that. Um, 24 12 hour thing yet with this one i think i'll find another one to do that with and then um maybe when secret temple comes in <laughs> and then i'll work that one out a little bit better oh, it should be good 
them well I think that is that for now and I will do more of this off cam right and we will go from there yeah I think I will because I'm oh dear I'm heating up again and I need to cook my dinner <laughs> and I'm not cook eating in diamond painting <laughs> at the same time but well yes so does anybody else do this use a um if you're doing whites and say you had a white tray would you put it into a different color tray this bit is annoying yeah it's good if you're holding it that way but most pens if you go like there at the end you've only got that mat so you know that's a ten placer and so you've got to really you get hit against that bit and then they all go squiffy and then you've got this bit coming in so I would definitely this isn't one of my favouritest ones but I'm glad I got it but yeah it's um yeah I'm gonna have to get a different one I think that's why I like these but if I can get one of these in different colour that'll be perfect I mean I've got one of those but that's way too small and you've still got that I know you've got it there but it's way too small but well I will go, have to go and have a look I think now quite a lot of people are 3D printing them but well we will see right so on that note I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you in the next one and write down down below what you think so far yeah anyway right so please remember to like comment subscribe and share and are you prepared for dp mashup 24 starting in april and if you are whip along to my facebook page bear in mind there's two because there's a page and there's a group so go on to the group i shall try and put that link for the group in the description and then sign up there and um yeah and that's where you can post your pictures your ongoing pictures of, of what's happening okay see you then bye